Hello, I am Dr. Bharth Sarathida Taroy. I am a consultant dermatologist, cosmetologist and a trichologist. I have my uh, main center uh, in MG Road, uh, that is in the McGrath Road. Also, I have few branches in Indiranagar, Koromangala and Fraserton. Other than uh, uh, dandruff, there are few other um, itchy scaly conditions of scalp. Like one most common condition is seborrheic dermatitis, where you see scalings as well. It will be more severe than usual dandruff. And the seborrheic areas of the body, like scalp, upper back, chest, nasolipial folds, ears, all these uh, areas like eyebrows, all these areas will be involved. And the scales uh, in Seborrheic dermatitis are greasy type, greasy and brown in color. Whereas in uh, normal dandruff, the scales will be very fine and uh, loosely adherent to the scalp. Another common skull condition is scalp psoriasis. Scalp psoriasis is something again we see a lot of patients. Uh, and in scalp psoriasis, the severity will be even more. In scalp psoriasis, usually we'll see thick scales, thick white sheet of scales. And uh, in uh, skull psoriasis, we also can see involvement of uh, other part of the body. And coming to the treatment of this uh, is um, nothing but uh, what I told uh, during the treatment of dandruff, but with few other things. Maybe in case of seborrheic dermatitis, I'll give you some systemic uh, steroids plus a shampoo will be a little stronger, maybe steroid based shampoo. In case of scalp psoriasis, I may give uh, tar shampoos. Overall steroids also we can use. Sometimes we use methotrexate 7.5 mg per week according to severity. And uh, also scalings can be seen in some other conditions like people with um, atopic dermatitis can have mild scalings on their scalp. Also in uh, fungal infections of the scalp like tinea capitis, we can see scalings. So these are the other things of uh, other uh, scalp uh, problems other than dandruff.